What is up? You probably know what we are doing just from the title, thumbnail, and intro. It's not even Fingerboard Friday. This is gonna be a good video. So we are making a Fingerboard half pipe out of foam board. Because you know, if you have a tech deck quarter pipe, that's just not too good. There's nothing totally wrong with this, but it isn't a very big half pipe. When you think about it, this is only six inches tall. I want a bigger one. And also, I have no clue where my connector pieces are for this, which makes this even more useless. Not that it is useless, but I just want something even better than this. So that's what we are going to be doing today. So the first thing you are going to need is a stack of foam board. I'm not going to say how many pieces of foam board you do need because I haven't built this yet, but we are about to find out. You will also need some kite stock. This is just thick paper. And this is just the beginning of things you will need. Just kidding, this is actually all you need. Foam board, card stock, you're good. So the first thing I did to do this is I made this little template piece. And this is going to be one side of a half pipe. I didn't use any technique for this. I just freehanded it onto a piece of paper that I taped together. And then that did the trick. And then what I did is I took a piece of foam board, traced it on one side, moved along and traced it on the other side. It's a little bit hard to see on camera, but that is just pencil. And the dimensions of this is 20 inches and then 30 inches. So what we did is we went exactly 10 inches in the middle, directly in the center, and then we'll be able to get a whole nother piece on the other side. So we only actually need three of these pieces cut out, so let's get cutting. And basically what we are going to do is do the exact same thing we did with this spine we made. You basically put ribs on the inside, cardstock on top, but I will show you exactly how to do it in this video. So we have one out of the three pieces cut out. I'm either gonna use three or four. I haven't decided yet. You'll see why we need to make more than just two. But this is it. This is going to be very fun. Once it just doesn't do this. So now we need to cut a few more of these out. But watch this. So through the power of editing, you can do something pretty cool. All you need to do is wave your hand over whatever item you have. And just like that, we have three pieces cut out. And also I did forget to say one thing. It's your boy Canadian David Jones back with another Fingerboard YouTube video. Let me know if I should just say that in every one of my videos now. It's up to you guys. Just kidding. But we have our three pieces cut out now through the power of editing. Easy. So you can probably see what we are doing now. We are going to have these lined up something like this. This is going to be a huge half pipe. So our next step is to cut a bunch of little rib pieces that will fit in between each pipe. So I think we are going to make them about eight and a half inches. So I'm just going to cut them all out. You guys know the drill and I'll see you in about half an hour, which will only be like under a second for you. A few inches later. We have all of our little rib pieces cut out and we are ready to glue them into place. I would have filmed this, but it does take quite a while to cut all these pieces out. But these are eight and a half inches long, about an inch wide. So it is now time to glue these into place. So this is pretty simple. All you'll need to do is grab your hot glue gun. You can use other glues, but it's kind of pointless because hot glue is king over all glues. Nothing can beat hot glue. So what we are going to do is take a hot glue gun Put some glue on the end, slap it into place, and that is one in place. So instead of gluing all of these on this one piece and then gluing this piece together like that, that is pretty difficult to line up perfectly. So what I'm going to do is glue one more piece on this side, glue these two pieces together like that, and then I'm basically just fitting them into place. When you're gluing foam together with hot glue, you have so much time to work with it because foam insulates so well. So I wasn't even rushing to fit this back into place. It was just, I had so much time. So now I'm going to finish this part, then move on to doing this. 
So I will see you in a while. So our half pipe is mostly complete. This was the most difficult part right here. So that means there's only one thing left to do, and that is glue our cardstock in place. Now most of you will be able to get your hands on this, and there's nothing wrong with this, but at my dolly store, it's just Dollarama, you can buy this very thick, big sheet of cardstock. And I would even say this is twice as thick as just this. So you know, that means you'll have an even harder surface to fingerboard on. So we cut this to size, and it fits perfectly inside our half pipe. So so something cool about this technique is you don't even need to glue to these little rib pieces. As long as you glue on the outside, that'll hold everything in place. So I'm going to start gluing this. I'm just going to glue this top in place. We'll have that in place and then we'll be ready to glue the sides. So this is glued in place on top, so now we are going to take a hot glue gun and fit it in between the sides and glue that in place. You don't need to do this part all in one shot, you can do it just in a bunch of smaller steps. I'm getting very excited because this looks like a lot of fun. So once we have this completely glued into place, we are going to take our other piece and fit it right over here, just onto it like that. And then we are going to glue that on the sides into place. So I'm just going to cut to that because you know how to glue this now, so let's cut to that. 2,000 years later. So after a couple hours of work, this is complete. And to do a quick size comparison, if you have one of these Tech Deck half pipes, look at the size difference. When I got this, I thought this was actually like a decent sized half pipe until I made this. So now time to skate it. In previous fingerboard videos, I always say ride because I actually don't even skateboard. I'm a BMX rider, but I fingerboard. So I'm always so used to saying ride. So everybody is always like, it's not ride, it's skate. So I'm about to skate a half pipe. That is my very first moment of skating this. And boy is that smooth. Just listen to this. This. That's so smooth. Whereas this. Now back to riding this. I mean skate. I actually didn't even do that for the video. I actually said ride. I'm still so used to saying ride. <laughs> And this actually looks pretty cool. The light is shining through this, but it actually kind of makes it look like it's like choppy almost. But this is as smooth as smooth can get. So it looks like it feels like this, but that's just the light shining through.
So I'm honestly super happy with how this turned out. This is one of the bigger features we have ever made. In fact, this probably is actually the biggest feature we have made. I know we made the giant concrete skate park and that was very cool, but like height and size wise for like one thing, I think this is the biggest. And also fun fact, we made this entire half pipe for under $5 Canadian. I don't think it can even get any better than that. And I am still very happy with how quiet this is. I'm able to carry on a conversation while going back and forth. So that wraps it up for today's video. This project took around two hours for us to make, which I'm pretty happy with. And as long as you have foam board and some paper, this doesn't even have to be cardstock, but I would recommend it as this stuff because it is very cheap. It fills the entire area with no gaps and it's a little bit thicker than paper and cardstock. So I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you in my next video. Outtake. Thanks for watching today's video. Hit the subscribe button down there so you don't miss out on any new fingerboard videos coming soon. One video up there and there is of course another one down there. Social media links are in the description below. I also post fingerboard stuff on those and I will see you in my next video.